time you get big thunderstorms this time of year. Luckily, nothing to worry about in the tropics. Here is the latest on Hurricane Aaron, a massive category four storm sitting over 100 miles away just outside of the Turks and Caicos. They have tropical storm warnings for the islands there. Luckily, it's moving northwest and eventually will start to move more north by the middle of this week. This is a big hurricane and it's only growing in size. While the intensity of the winds are going to start to come down this week, it will grow in size that sends large waves all along the east coast. The worst of it probably for the outer bay banks here Wednesday night into early Thursday as it passes several hundred miles off the east coast there, but still a big storm with waves and rip currents. Luckily, no direct landfall there. This is a new tropical wave. We're going to need to watch long term. Now we're not stressed about this because it's so far out here, but by Thursday, Friday and Saturday, we've got somewhere uh, maybe a developing storm near Puerto Rico again. Now where exactly this tries to come together is important. We want it to be on a more northerly track because there are out to sea options with this tropical wave. With that being said, it's all about where it tries to form. So the further south, the closer we watch it, the further north, the better off the United States will be, the better off everyone will be. Models think there's something trying to form by Friday here. Notice somewhere near the Leeward Islands. And so we've got all week, at least five days to watch it closely. And then models diverge on what it does. Again, there are some out to sea scenarios based on the steering currents. One week from today, we've got this big guy right here. That's a trough of low pressure. What does that mean? Well, if something's far enough north, it goes out to sea with that trough. The other problem could be, though, if something is further south, it's going to get drawn to the north. So if you have something coming into the Caribbean, there's a greater chance of a U.S. threat. If it's further north of the Caribbean, there's a greater chance it's out to sea. That's a very fine detail we'll want to follow closely. Again, we've got all week and all next weekend to watch and see how that unfolds. So it's no immediate threat. We're just looking at a hot week.